welcome everyone to our Christmas Eve service of lessons and carols. We are so glad that you have joined us this evening. I am Pastor Thomas Gable, and this is Marin Lutheran Church. Tonight you will hear in song and word the beautiful and hopeful message of Jesus' birth. God has come into the world in a baby, in a manger. Our hope is renewed, and we rejoice. This evening we will be celebrating Holy Communion, so I invite you all to have ready a cup of wine or grape juice and a piece of bread or cracker. Our prayer in this service is that we might all be touched by God's hope and joy in this holiday season. The grace of the Christ child born for us and the joy of the Son given to us be with you all. And also with you. in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shone. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with the and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. O radiant dawn, splendor of eternal light, son of justice. Let us come into the light of God, our hope in the darkness.
by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this in the sixth month for her, who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. O Holy One, God of our salvation, You are our strength and might. You have become our salvation.
for shelter and for bread, for shelter and for bread. There is no child so lost, no No child so cheap in warfare or destruction and take action and love can cannot take action when God is made to when God is made to In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And Mary said, my soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. And Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. God of wisdom, weaver of tradition and transformation. Grant us 
us the joy of the miraculous in our lives today. descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. O Christ, child of wonder and splendor, Lamb God of all nations, grace of peace, may the whole world live in your love.
Do not be afraid. For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Tell everyone both far and near. Tell everyone both far and near. The Lord has come, salvation's here. The Lord has come, salvation's here. Proclaim the birth of Christ our King. Across the earth, rejoice and sing. Across the earth, rejoice and sing. Wake the world out in joy. Wake the world that Jesus Christ is born. Wake the world with joy. He comes to save on heaven's wings. He comes to save. Our Savior brings. Bring. He declare the word both night and day. The, night and day. the Lord of Lords shall lead the way. The Lord of Lords shall lead the way. Christ is born, and Jesus Christ is born. Wake the world with joy. Mm -hmm.
the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and had come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out. And there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. O holy child, redeemer of the world, may, may the light of our peace shine within us all and throughout the world.
came from heaven dressed in white. Born in Bethlehem, have you heard the story of the baby boy? Baby boy, baby boy, have you heard the story of the baby boy? Born in Bethlehem. Three wise men came from far and wide. Born in Bethlehem. They followed the star to the baby side. Born in Bethlehem, have you heard the story of the baby boy? Baby boy, baby boy, have you heard the story of the baby boy? Born in Bethlehem, born in Bethlehem. See the baby. Sleeping on this Christmas morn, hear the angels sing. Hallelujah, he is born. Have you heard the story of the baby boy, baby boy, baby boy? Have you heard the story of the baby boy? Born in Bethlehem, the angels played in a heavenly band. Born in Bethlehem, spreading good news and joy all across the land. Born in Bethlehem, have you heard the story of the baby boy? Baby boy, baby boy, have you heard the story of the baby boy? Born in Bethlehem, have you heard the story of the baby boy? Give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks Lord God, we give you thanks and praise upon this holy night when in your goodness you showed your supreme love for us by sending forth your only begotten Son, our Savior, to be born of Mary to save us all. Before you formed the heavens and the earth, he was your word. In him you made all things, in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell. Yet he did not count equality with God as a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself to take the form of a servant, being born in our own likeness, even as a baby, lying in a manger. For all these things we give you thanks and herald his coming. Lord Jesus, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Creator, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now I invite you to hold up your piece of bread or cracker. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. As one community, let us eat of the bread of life. And now I invite you to hold up your cup of wine or grape juice. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. As one community, let us drink of the cup of salvation. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in God's grace.
And now may you be filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the Magi, and the peace of the Christ child. May the light of Christ burn in our hearts this night and always. Amen. Amen.